Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a battle of the custards video for you guys. Today's contenders are the Pattern Define and Shine Styling Custard versus the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Cold Sculpt Tint Custard. Can you tell which one is which? Well continue watching and you'll see which one gave me the better result. Both products are quite expensive. This one was £13.49 or something like that. But I did get a promotion from Boots. So I do always get discounts when I buy from the supermarkets or the drugstores. Because who's paying full price? Not me. <laughs> and this one, I believe it's about £20. But I received this from the treasure chest boxes. So I don't know if I would actually purchase this if I was using my own coins. Like it's really expensive. Who's paying £20 for, for a custard? Not me. So I've washed, deep conditioned and conditioned my hair. I've done my new routine that I'm, I'm doing now that my hair is falling out. My hair sectioned off already. It's still damp. It's been up in this towel for about 20 minutes while I cleaned my body and got dressed. So let's get into the products. So I'm gonna apply the pattern on this side and I'm gonna apply the meow on this side. Let's start off with the meow. Oh my god, all my crocodile clips are breaking, it's time to get some more. Don't break please, my last one. So this is the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpt and Custard. I've used it in a wash and go, I will leave the link for that video down below. And here's what it looks like. Very jellyfied, it's quite runny as you can see. The smell is very strong. It is actually quite a pleasant smell. I really do like the scent, but it's very strong. It's very powerful. It actually makes my chest feel a bit wheezy the first time I used it. I'm going to start in this back section here. Decent amount. Look how it clumps my hair. Like it's amazing, but my results from my wash and go I was not happy with at all like I had to literally apply the products again the next day and I mean when I do my wash and goes I don't want to touch my hair until wash day in regards to styling so it was kind of annoying for me the next day I had to add the products in again so I've never used it again for wash and go <laughs> but I just thought let me try it in a braid out or twist out and see how it goes. And for the braid out, I'm just gonna have eight. So two in each section, because I can't be asked to sit here for hours doing my hair. And on all the sections, I'm gonna be using my homemade oil mixture. It's similar to most of the oils that are out there in the market. If you would actually like a video for my homemade oil, let me know. There probably are some people out there like me who like to make their own stuff. Just let me know. If you want the recipe, I'll give it to you guys. <laughs> but it's got the typical rosemary, peppermint. So now that all the products are in, I'm gonna twist it off. So I'm gonna start off with a braid and this helps just keep the hair at the top flat and doesn't poof up. And then I split one of the strands into two, join it to the other sides and twist. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna put a perm rod on it. Just like that. Repeat on this section. Add a little bit more of the jelly, custard. <laughs> on to the next section all right so all that products in now so just part it off here and you can do three sections but i just feel very very lazy today i'm trying to do as little work as possible Last one, add a bit more custard. These new growth hairs. See all that new growth? It's coming, it's coming back. <laughs> Got a long, 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 long time to go before my hair gets back to how it was. I still can't believe my hair fell out. I can't. After being in denial for so long and then actually seeing it for myself that my hair was so thin, like, I can't believe it. My hair was in such good condition. <sighs> yeah, life. So yeah, with this section, because it's so big, I can either do three, or I can flat twist it. So yeah, I'm just gonna flat twist. What I do is just, I just do little section by section and twist. Ta 
just like so. Easy peasy. So this side I'm going to use the pattern styling custard. Let me open it. So this one's consistency is a lot looser. Also use a generous amount. Also love the way this goes in my hair. Like it defines it straight away and also makes me believe that this would work in a wash and go too. But I don't know what the hold is like. I know that it works well with my braid out my twist that that did so yeah not too sure how it'll work in a wash and go but i shall try it out because <laughs> i do have high hopes for it <laughs> goes in my hair beautifully defines it the scent is clean it's not strong just how i like it make sure to get in that middle section as well i feel like this side of my hair is more thick than that side maybe i don't have my part in right down the middle but it just seems a lot more thicker on this side look at that this looks normal interesting yeah so rate that through and now i'm going to add the oil This product feels a lot more nourishing than this side. This side is more like an aloe kind of feel. Okay, from what I can see, I feel like this side is giving more, more hold already. I don't know how to explain it, but the twist, maybe because it's just been done, but the twist look more uniform as these this one looks like a bit more airy a bit more fluffy and also it i feel like it's it's lying a bit more flat like it's holding it down a bit more i'm just gonna wrap my hair now i can't find my other hair scarf so i'm just gonna use this pink one i've had it for like 10 years it's saturday late afternoon now so i'm just gonna chill get takeaway and just relax okay guys so i'm back it's monday morning and it's fully dry now i didn't take it out yesterday because i wasn't going anywhere but it was actually dry so i do think that these products are actually good for braid outs and twist outs because they dry quickly whereas with the thicker products they tend to take a longer time to dry so let's take this down and let's see what we're working with okay i did my edges when i did my makeup so they're done so yeah let's go ahead and take this down Perfect. On to the other side. I think I can tell the difference already. So first off, let's look at the takedown results. This side looks a lot more defined than this side. Like this side looks a lot more fluffy. This side feels a lot more softer than this side. This side almost feels like it wants to have a little crunch on it. And I think if you don't use the oil with it, that's what you would get, like a crunch hold. And I don't like crunch holds at all. I like my hair to feel soft. <laughs> it's a lot more shiny on this side as well compared to this side. This side looks a bit dull. And when I used it with my wash and go as well, it was dull as well. So... I don't know so so far this side is winning for me this side looks a bit more elongated than this side and that was possibly due to you know the ends not being as coily so that's my error wipe my hands off and see if there's residue okay so they both have a bit of residue i don't know if you can see that on my fingers but this one has a little bit of these little white things on it it's not apparent in my hair but yeah this one leaves more residue than this side so let's go ahead and fluff this out and see what happens wow it's giving volume <laughs> i've actually got volume in my hair oh, my hair's coming back guys it's coming back it's coming back that's one side done look at it looks amazing i'm not gonna lie 
this side now. Oh, look, that is very frizzy. Oh my god, okay. Let's, just, let's keep going. Oh god. No, 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 no. I was hoping that both of the products would work well, but just differently. But this is actually frizzing up really badly. I don't think it's, it's not gonna match. I was hoping to put my hair down today. <laughs> oh, the residue is not nice on this, guys. Not at all. And it's flaking a little bit on my leg. It feels really dry. I don't like this product. I don't. <laughs> This actually nailed the pin in the coffin, or whatever the saying is, for me, because it doesn't work in a wash and go, it doesn't work in a twist out, so what would I actually use it for? Okay, so, here's the results. Let me just actually go ahead and make a thumbnail before I fluff it out. I think it's gonna be very obvious from the thumbnail which one is better. So I might just do a switcheroony <laughs> to keep them guessing. Okay, obviously you can tell which one's the winner. Like, I would much prefer to have results like this than results like this. I'm just going to fluff out the roots a little bit just to see if I can get more volume at the roots. This is what I would usually do with my braid outs anyway. Oh, yes. Look at the difference. Wow, look at the volume, guys. <sighs> what? Okay, so there you have it, guys. There is a clear winner in this competition and it is the pattern define and shine styling custard it's hold no lies guys look define and shine wow. like this is whack <laughs> this is so whack i'm sorry miel but you do have some winners but this product here it's not a winner i don't recommend it for anybody on the packaging it does recommend to use an oil with it and a leave-in it could be the leave-in why i didn't get better results with it maybe i need to use their leave-in with it but i did use their leave-in with my wash and go so uh, it actually looks dull on camera that's how you know it's kind of bad it looks dull on the camera so what i took away from this video for myself is that if i want a more voluminous more fluffier result is to use a lighter weight leave-in conditioner and a gel or a styling custard i.e pattern define and shine curling custard and i didn't actually use a lot this is my second time using it it wasn't filled up to the brim but i don't know if you can see there's still quite a lot of products in there so i feel like it might be worth your buck just search around for promotions i know boots and Superdrug were selling it for like 16 pounds which is close to how much meow goes for meow goes for 13 pounds 49 so the extra three quid is worth it in my opinion i actually bought this one with my own coins so i'm a bit annoyed <laughs> but um it is what it is but yes guys that's the end of this video i hope you found it useful i hope you enjoyed watching and if you want to see any more natural hair videos like this subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye